Hola and welcome to episode 35 of my Worm Unlimited tutorial series. This episode is going to be on light sources because um, I want to start doing some prospecting so we can all see how to find all the different ores. Uh, so hence we need light sources and uh, plus I can record videos then at night without worrying about whether you can see it. This episode I want to dedicate to Michael is who is a new person who's joined our family and um, it's dedicated to Michael because he he, 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 he he mentioned something that I was just totally not aware of um, and someone else mentioned previously uh, what I'm talking about is basically pigs um, someone else mentioned previously that pigs are great because you get all level 5 um, healing cover items off of them but Michael the reason I've the grudge I've always had against pigs when I first started playing worm many years ago I had two great friends and one of them he loved pigs and me and my other friend used to spend most of our time farming pumpkins to feed his pigs and it sort of put me off pigs but Michael made me realize you can actually feed them mixed grass. How incredible is that? You can actually feed pigs mixed grass, and mixed grass is easy to get hold of. Um, but there's one other thing that Michael did. I did a little test, because it got my fascination up with mixed grass. So let's just show you quickly, before I commence with the light sources, I want to show you something that I just found out for the very first time, and yes I could well be stupid and all of you knew about this already, but the fact of the matter is, I didn't. Now you see my little friend over here? He's tamed. I haven't got no meat to tame him with. What did I use? I thought, after what Michael said about the pigs, I thought, Hmm, I wonder. Dogs do eat grass sometimes when they're starving, and I know they get sick. But of course, in this game, maybe they don't get sick. And indeed, dogs do not get sick. So let's just show you something absolutely fantastic. Okay, because this is really fantastic. And it's thanks to Michael. I wouldn't have thought of trying this. Anyway, so let's show you. Here's my little friend or as in the US you like to say my little buddy okay let's first show you grass okay oops let's put it in my pocket grass so I'll activate a piece of grass right click on him feed now he's not hungry uh, because he's eaten but you see you can feed dogs grass a meat eater in real life dogs do eat grass all right not often but here's the kicker here's the thing which is so fantastic that dog right click with your grass activated and tame yes you can use grass for taming that is just absolutely full-on awesome because I can gather up hundreds of grass in a matter of minutes and I can just like train the heck out of my uh, taming skill. That is just absolutely brilliant. And yes, I will now be in the future breeding pigs as well. So thank you, Michael. You see how fantastic it is. I mean, there's been so many lovely comments by so many people that have decided to step out the shadows and join us all in the light. And each time someone does that, they bring something very special with them. And it is just, it just is making this series so unbelievably nice that everyone no matter where you're from in the world you're all bringing something and you don't have to bring anything but your love but you're all bringing something to this beautiful game and to this beautiful family and it is a beautiful family so it just keeps getting better some of the ideas i'd never have imagined of trying but there we are it's just brilliant now i can go to that dog and i can just trained to my heart's content without having to worry about getting so much meat and fish and I mean fish still has its uses so does meat you know with fish like I said high quality fish is the best is a good way to tame but so can the grass just has to be the best simply has to be okay so though first of all let's um, get a few things out the way one important thing that I need to mention that Rainstorm 
made me aware of of course is tomorrow Saturday is the day that we're going to start meeting at well is the day we're going to meet at our deed in Worm Online and um, Rainstorm worked out the uh, best time I mean there isn't the perfect time because you know as Tosh pointed out all around the world it's a huge place when it's one o'clock here no doubt it's one o'clock in the morning somewhere else etc 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 but the best time rainstorm come up with was 2 p.m gmt greenwich mean time so just type into google 2 p.m translate it to your local time that is when we will start appearing so when rainstorm calls me at 2 p.m gmt we'll then log into the deed and hopefully see a lot of you tomorrow which will be really splendid for for us all chatting together I believe the best way for us to chat is to simply use the local chat because that way I what I will do for example and perhaps will bang it perhaps then what you can also do is I'll just make this a massive window so I won't miss any of your I mean I don't know how many people are turning up I imagine 10 20 people if we're lucky so this would be big enough easily for me to keep uh, make sure that I don't miss anyone's messages so I mean I know there's things like team speak but it will get a bit chaotic if using that I'd imagine when when you start to get to quite a few people but this is nice let's keep it simple eh? let's just keep it simple we're chatting local and all hopefully will be well so yeah looking forward to that tomorrow we can all chat and say our highs in local it'd be great it really will be great first of many meetings and who's to say in the distant future we can't all have a worm con in sweden how fantastic would that be anyway i'm getting well ahead of myself okay next up i want to mention ali cats as a new video and i was also shown something else i was totally not aware of but i'm not going to ruin the surprise because it is a lovely surprise in ali cats video it's only a short video so don't worry but uh, it's a lovely surprise and of course we also get to hear our lovely accent once more okay and last mention is a thank you to kroll because because of Kroll's first video that he did gave me the idea for this uh, light source that I'm going to show you I would have only have shown you the uh, iron lamps and lantern but thanks to Kroll I'm going to show you the first light source which is very very simple to make and that's why I wanted to show you it to all of you um, because it is possibly one of the best light sources okay so let's get started then with this light source episode it's not going to be long um, I just needed to make sure you all knew the time for the deed and wanted to say a few thank yous and a really massive thank you to every single one of you out there that is watching this series seriously a huge thank you to every single one of you because I doubt very much I would still be doing this if it wasn't for all of your support every single last one of you so thank you ever so much okay let's do this first light source the first light source in our list is a carved punk pumpkin and it's unbelievably simple to do what you do you activate your carving knife which is a tool you've had from the beginning so you just activate that right click on the pumpkin go to create decoration don't be fooled by the fact it says decoration it is an awesome light source and then left click carved pumpkin so we'll go through doing that I have no idea what skill it will give us oh cooking <laughs> now how amazing is that it's giving us a cooking skill for doing a light source oh I failed let's try again now this I mean I don't know anything about pumpkins perhaps I should have went on Wormpedia and looked them up um, but I was in haste because I didn't do anything videos yesterday and I wanted to at least make sure that I got one done today so I didn't this episode has had nowhere near the amount of research research I normally do so possibly there'll be loads of mistakes but it's all good because it'll give you all a chance to comment on my mistakes and I love it <laughs> so here we are we have a carved pumpkin what do we do with it now well now we fill it with some tar so luckily I do have some tar somewhere I've just got to try and remember where I put it oh here we are here's the tar so you activate your tar 
Notice I've been using a bit of it. It starts off as one kilogram. And we right click on the pumpkin and fill. Notice it's used a tiny little bit of our tar, but we now have a fantastic light source. We will go and test the light sources in the mine once we've made them all. So let's move on to the next light source. We'll put that up here for now. Now one thing to mention about the pumpkin, the carved pumpkin, the higher the quality level, the brighter the light source will be. Okay, so just that. Right, moving on, the next, let's take a look at the lantern. So for the lantern, we're now gonna need some iron, which thankfully I have prepared already, and it's glowing from heat. Remember, you always need your iron lumps glowing to be able to use them. Okay, let's just check that. The f right, okay, so that's nearly run out of fuel. So what we'll do, is we will use one of our lovely yokes that we've been making by mistake. Oh, I've made a ton of them, but I'm using them to keep my forger light for the moment, as you will as well with your yokes that you make by mistake. Oops, let's put it in my pocket. Because it's 20 weight, the perfect weight for burning. It will use up to 20 kilograms for fueling your forges and ovens. So there you go, I've fueled the forge. Now if we check, Yep, it's burning steadily. Right, great. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to make the second light source. Now, there are many light sources. I'm just going to show you three. I'm not going to go too deep or heavy. I need light. I need there to be light shed on this subject. I need light so I can make videos at night time without worrying about it being too dark. And I especially need light for all of the uh, stuff I want to show you in the mine. Uh, yeah, do you see the water down there? We'll have some fun with that. I don't know if I've mentioned about water in my mind yet, but I will when we get to it. Okay, let's make this lantern. So what we'll do, let's bring up the um, recipe window. Ugh, forgive all of the um, space being taken up by loads and loads of windows. Let's just try and create a bit of space here. It will get like that in Worm. You'll have so many windows open with all the stuff you're doing, and it's all good. All good, my friends. Okay, now we're not doing that one yet. The first one we're gonna do is the lantern. So, oops, it'll help if I spell it correctly. There we go, there's the iron lantern. What do we need? We need an iron lump and a large anvil. Oh, I went crazy earlier. I was just kept making large anvils. I didn't see them drop on the ground because I was thinking about something else, so I chewed through a load of my precious iron, being a fool. But then we know that already, so let's do this. So what we'll do, we will, now that we've got the iron in our pocket, we will add the lantern, and we will now add the um, large anvil, and there we go. Now we will select the lantern over here in the list, there it is. 43% but we'll get better at that. I love blacksmithing and someone else mentioned that they got their blacksmithing to a ridiculously high level. I think in the 90s. I really don't know how you did that because you need a pelt to be a, a high quality pelt for starters. Not even to go to the other tools that you'd need. But anyway, someone mentioned they got that high. I couldn't believe it. They're blacksmithing. So let's try and make a lantern. I don't think it's that difficult. There we go, we made one straight away. Again, I believe with lanterns, let's just have a look, see if this says what this tells us. So remember, by right-clicking on any item and doing Find on Wormpedia, you'll get a little bit of information about it. Sometimes a little, sometimes a lot. Let's just have a quick look. What does it say about our lovely lantern? Uh, okay, so it only uses 0 0.20 kilograms of tar. That's brilliant. Ah, oh, there's something interesting. I did not know that. Oil is rumoured to produce light for longer than tar. Yes, and I'm so going to build an olive grove. And I will be doing that because someone asked about me showing harvesting times. So what I plan to do in the future is I'm going to create a lemon tree orchard. A, a, uh, well hundreds of cedar trees, that's my favourite wood to work with, 
Um, I'm going to do an olive orchard. I'm going to do a grape vineyard. I'm going to do oh, loads and loads. You'll see. But yeah, that's interesting. Oil will last longer than tar for light. That's cool. Didn't know that. A full lantern will burn for almost 24 hours, depending on the quality. <laughs> further study. You see, what other game do you play which talks about further studies? You know, my friends, that you're in a seriously content-rich game when a game can state that to you. That is just awesome. Further studies. Oh, yes, there's loads of further studies I intend doing, and loads of further experiments like that grass with the dog. There's so much we do not know. I mean, I know a little. I've only been playing seven years. I know a little, but I also realise there is so much more I want to learn about this wonderful game. And eventually, I mean, we haven't even touched the adventure server yet. We will get there when we do a private server, and that'll be a lot of fun. Uh, let's carry on with this because I am waffling. Oh, I didn't know that. Look at that. If you paint a lantern, the light from the lantern will be that colour. Now, that is just totally awesome. Black dye has no effect on the light. Oh, well, but look at that. So we can have some fun making lamps all over our deeds and properties and painting them all different colours to experiment the different lights and trust me when I tell you it looks absolutely beautiful when you see a deed covered in lamps with all different lights uh, okay let's have a look at what else it says okay so the quality level of the lantern affects the range of its light also fantastic because that person that got their blacksmithing up to 90, wow, they're going to have a powerful light source. That will be really fantastic light source. And next it says more than quality level 70 is considered dangerous on wild. Your light will be, <laughs> oh, I see, yeah, of course, because you'll be seen from afar. And so you'll be stalked and attacked by other PvP, player versus player people. Yep, you see, everything in this game has implications. Just be wary. Or actually, at this stage, I should be saying that they're going to need to be wary of you. <laughs> okay, we've seen how to create it. There we go, enough mentioned on the lantern. So there we are. Brilliant, 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 another light source. What I will do, though, I'm going to stick that in the forge because I'm going to be improving that. We will get to improving, um, but we're not quite there yet. We'll get there. But I'll leave that in there ready for that. Okay, the next light source we're going to look at, of course, will be one you will use a lot. Because it's what you're going to smother all in your mind and all over your deed. And that is, of course, the iron lamp. So, what we need to do, I believe, to get that up is... No, I can just type lamp, I believe. Yep, here we go. Now, we're not going to do brass yet. That is well ahead of ourselves. We're not going to do gold, silver, copper. We're going to stick to iron, the simple one. What we will need is a log and a hanging lamp head. Oh, no, that's a hanging lamp. I just want an iron lamp. There we are. It's that one there. Oh, don't ask me about that. There is loads of light sources, but I said I'm going to try and keep this simple. I thought it was going to be a short episode, but then, of course, I didn't realise I'm going to start waffling on and incessantly talking. I mean, I could I could sit here in front of a, blade, a patch of grass and talk to you for probably 24 hours, but you aren't going to want that, so let's stick with doing this iron lamp, shall we? Okay, let's double-click that. Let's bring up the iron lamp head. So what we need is an iron lamp and a large anvil. Well, as luck would have it, we have got an iron lump which I'll have to put that back because it's only searing but I was prepared we have a second iron lump so we'll activate that we will no we're going to do it through the stick to good habits and do it through the window so what we'll do we will add the iron lamp head to the crafting window we will right click the large anvil and add that and there we are we have a lantern but we actually want a lamp head be very careful of that. This is fantastic and I would use no other way but you do have to always check the end product. We want a lamp head. Yes it's taking a hit 
down to 29% will be more difficult. But look, we got a ton of iron. I mean, I've found loads of iron nodes, and I'm going to be showing you how to find loads. So let's just make ourselves this lamp head, and then we can make the lamp. In fact, I'll just do four. Let's see how we get on. All the time our skills will be going up, and all the time it will get easier to do. So there we are, we have one lamp head. Now, I don't know if we need to imp this, improve this lamp head before making it into a lantern. Uh, to, to make increased benefits. I'm sure it will uh, make it easier to make the lamp, but I'm not sure what other benefits we'd get. For now though, like I say, I haven't done proper research for this episode, so I'm just going to make these different light sources and we will place a couple down and see how they look and we'll also take a look at the carved lamp uh, pumpkin from what I've seen from the carved lantern it's equivalent to about a quality level 40 lantern as far as I can tell so you know the these really are amazing and I've had one for all, for about a week now and it's not rotted so I can only say that they're brilliant they're so simple to make but I do prefer making the iron lamps because train my skill up plus with these I can stick them all around your deed it's just yeah all good well let's see yeah we got three that'll do if I don't make another one and we'll make three lamps Okay, that'll do. Right, now what we need is, let's put it back to lamp. We need three logs. So let's find the iron lamp. Yeah, that is the right one. Let's find our bulk storage bin. Where have I put that? Okay. We're going to need three logs. I'm only going to use low quality logs because I don't want to waste them, far too precious at the moment. Let's grab three. Wood type doesn't matter because it's a metal item. So now that we've got our three logs, all full quality, and we got our three lamp heads, let's now add the lantern, the iron lamp to the crafting window. There we go, so there we go, there's our lamp. That is what we want. Let's now try and create the three that we've got. Again, our skills are going up nicely. Look at that, bang, bang, bang. You see green all over. That's all good. And I know they're really quality, low quality lamps. Oh, okay, I see what I did wrong. I should have put them in there, and I should have put them in there. There we go, right. Yeah, I know they're low quality lamps. They will get bright, I believe, the same as, let's just check quickly while I'm messing around with that. Yeah, it's the same as the lantern, tar or oil. So I would imagine that it's the same with the oil lasting longer than tar. Uh, lamp uses dye to paint it so again whatever dye color you paint it is the color of the light and we are so going to be doing that at some point um, only needs 10 digging skill to plant because yes we'll be planting these on the ground as you're going to see in a moment there is no limit to how many street lamps you can plant at once um, or oh, can I translate that? Uh, basically, in Worm Online, it used to be that, I think, right back in the day, right back in the old days, you could only plant once every 24 hours. So, I believe, uh, someone can correct me on that. I don't know. I haven't kept up with all the updates. But that's how it used to be. Now, of course, it's telling you there's no restriction. We can go around like a complete lunatic and plant 150,000 of them all over this world if we want. Totally up to us. So, there we go. When planted on a deed, street lamps will need to be filled only once and will be automatically lit during night. How fantastic is that? So, I've got a massive deed. I'm just going to go silly crazy with planting these lamps. Yes, I've got to make them. Yes, I'm going to have to mine a ton of iron. 
but I love mining so there we go we you, we're gonna start to actually be able to see right okay we've got our lamps let's close that let's close that and let's close that let's go into the mine now and start play, placing actually I won't get on the cart let's go placing some of these let's put the iron back in the forge good habits and let's grab our carved pumpkin because we're going to need to see as we're walking along and let's grab the tar because we're going to need that now have I got enough tar well I've got enough for the free lanterns I believe let's just fill them all up so it said it's going to use 0.20 so here we go let's fill the first one hmm it used 10 no wait a minute it, yeah it no it used uh, 12 Oh, I'm getting a brain collapse. Brain is melting. It used eight. Oh, I don't know. I haven't got a clue now. Let's try again. <laughs> what can I say? You try filming a video and engaging brain with the most simplest of things. It just tends to not work. And I missed that now because I was waffling. So let's try again. Right, so 41. I'm going to fill. That used 13. Now, I'm sure it used a different amount for each of them. So, what can I say? I've got enough tar, and it's not using 20, so it's all good. Right, let's go into the mine, and let's start placing some light. So, first of all, here we go, it's dark. Let's light our pumpkin. So, we'll activate our steel and flint. Right, click the pumpkin, and light. Bang, there we go. All right, it's not a huge deal of light because our pumpkin is only 19 quality but it still gives us some light okay what we'll do let's place a lantern here what I'm gonna have to do next is reinforce these walls which I want to do perhaps in the next episode for now though let's to place a lamp a lamp you walk over the tile go over the center of it to be on the safe side Activate your lamp or or just simply right click on it and plant. You'll see then that it starts planting your lamp. Again, these are ridiculously low qualities. Perhaps I should have improved them a little, but I didn't want to waste your time. Okay, there's our lamp. Your first question is, if I place a lamp, can I pick it back up? Well, let's try. So if I right click on it and click take, oh well, there we go. So you just simply pick them back up. Okay, I'm wasting your time, I know, but I needed to show that. Let's plant again. I'm not even sure it's worth placing the quality one, but just for the sake of stupidity, I shall. Okay, so we've got the lantern the lamp placed let's now light it and there we go look at that great bit of light on top of our um, our carved pumpkin but remember if I had it like I said the range of it is or like we read the range is due is down to the quality level because it's under 10 quality level it's probably only doing this one tile but once you start to get it up high then it will be much better much brighter and you'll see much further I mean I'm gonna probably pick these back up once I'm uh, done with this episode and improve them so you know we can do that we know we can do that so it's not an issue but I just want to place a few down there so you can see how it looks there we go there's another one let's now light that one and let's put another one down here right at the crossroads Cool, at one quality level I imagine that will only last about I oh, mind you it's on the D so it may not rot within the day but yeah I'm gonna pick them all up and I'm gonna improve them all for now it's just to demonstrate some light sources 
because now of course what I've got to do is make loads for the mine but before I do that I need to start reinforcing like so many have said there is so much to do and so little time to do it all I hope you've enjoyed this episode on light sources it was really just to tell you the time for us to meet tomorrow and really just so that you'll start making your light sources for your minds and your deeds and um, I hope you have some fun with that wherever you are in the world God bless you all and keep every single last one of you safe have a fantastic day and thank you for joining me goodbye <laughs>